how to get rid of bad odors Ooh, be you in your house especially if you're thinking of selling it that's what i'm going to talk about today stick around <music> I'm Annie Baker. I'm a realtor here in Silicon Valley and today I am talking about PU, bad odors in houses. It's the biggest turnoff. One thing I'm not going to tell you to do is put plugins, those air freshener plugins all throughout your house. It is a ginormous no-no and I'm going to tell you why at the end of this video, but you really do need to hear why. I will never have one of those in a listing of mine. And the other thing I'm not going to tell you to do is to clean your house because seriously, people, that's the obvious, especially if you're going to sell your house, please let's get a deep clean. I'm not talking about even you. I, I don't know. I just think there's a difference by hiring a professional cleaning company to come in. It's worth the $200, please. You're going to get probably at least a million up to $3 million for your house. A good cleaning is worth it. But here are some tips you may not have really thought about too much. Number one, the garbage. Hey, you may have thought, yeah, and you got it. We'll take the garbage out. I'm not talking about just emptying all the garbage cans in your house. Clearly the kitchen is critical, but I want you to take out the garbage and clean the garbage can. And I'm talking about rinsing it a couple times, doing a really good scrub. You'd be shocked at how many odors sort of sit in that garbage can. You're in and out of your house day in and day out, maybe for years. You don't even notice this kind of smells in your house. Garbage cans do it. It makes a difference. Number two, your shoes. They might be a little stinky and a little odor eater powder might not do the trick. And one of the bigger issues with shoes is that a lot of people have a basket by their front door or even, you know, in their laundry room by their back door with all their shoes, whether they come in through the gar garage or come in through the main house, they want people to take shoes off. I don't care if it's just flip flops. A lot of times they can just accumulate smells and you don't realize it. You don't notice because you've been walking by that basket so often. Or even if you do wear your shoes in the house and you just take them off in your closet at night, it's really shocking to go in someone else's closet and kind of have all those odors kind of jump out at you. So what I recommend is putting as many pairs of shoes you can in uh, the laundry. If you can do that, yeah, I'll be a little loud, put like a big blanket in there with some pairs. Um, but the other thing is like, especially with leather shoes, people, they really hold the odors. Get them in like a Ziploc bag or a grocery plastic bag type of thing and put them in the freezer overnight. It's a great tip. I make my husband do it a couple times a year. Of course, my shoes don't stink, but yeah, it really gets odors out. I don't know what it is about the freezer, don't ask me, but I just know it works. Uh, and so, especially if you do have all your shoes in a closet, take them all out, maybe sprinkle a little, you know, carpet deodorizer and really vacuum to get those odors out before you put your clean shoes back in. Same thing if you have a basket of some sort, maybe put it outside for a couple days and air it out. Um, get rid of the foot odor, people. And number three, fabric throughout your house, couches. Again, you don't even, you sit on your couch every day, you're not even aware of it. I don't care if you do or don't have animals. Couches just accumulate odors, the carpets and draperies. So if you have any curtains that you can just easily pull off, throw in the laundry, you might have to take them to the dry cleaner or at least take them off and vacuum them. Um, vacuum your couches, do a really good job. Get some of that odor out. Again, you can use those odor, um, odor deodorizer powders on couches. I do that pretty frequently um, because you don't even know what your house smells like after a while. But what buyers will notice are those smells. Again, biggest turn off for buyers, whether your house is super updated and beautiful, if there's any kind of musty smell, it's a no-go for buyers. It's like, hmm, what's going on here? And I've been in houses that, I mean, are super outdated. They need a ton of cosmetic updating, but if you walk in the house and it feels fresh and clean, People are like, hmm, I could live in this while I update the house. You walk in that same house with some musty, kind of stale odors. People are like, oh, the house needs so much work. So again, this is about getting the buyer into your house to feel like, wow, this feels like a great house. And odors are probably the first line of defense for them other than their eyes and what they're seeing. So let's get the odors out. So my tip, after you've done some of these cleaning projects, is to get your dryer sheets, you know, balance or your gain dryer sheet, whatever it is. Um, they will actually provide some sort of fresh 
you know, odor in your house. I put them air vents in listings. Um, I will sometimes put them under like area carpets or under cushions on your, a couch. I don't put too many, just a couple, but there's just sort of like a, that fresh clean smell that you kind of can smell, but it's not strong. Now back to why I said never ever put those plugins when you're selling a house. Years ago, when I first got into this business, one of the things I thought was really fun, I would get those plug-in things where you put like wax on the top, you plug it in a little light bulb underneath, melts the wax, and it just smells so great. And I would get really nice ones for my clients when I was selling their house, and I would usually give them two. Maybe one for a kitchen area and one for a living room area or bedroom area or something. And I thought it was just such a great way to make the house smell good until a colleague of mine said, Annie, you know you shouldn't be doing that because yeah it makes the house smell really good and it's they usually aren't as bad as those plugins that kind of smell a little too strong sometimes but he said um that there was someone in our office who had been sued their clients had been sued because after the buyers moved in i guess there turned out to be some mold in the house and so the buyer and their agent sued the seller and this colleague of ours uh, for masking the smell because they had all these plugins all over the house so the house smelled so great and you can smell if a room is messy that that might be a sign of mold if I have situations like that for buyers we'll usually get a mold inspector in but if that smell is masked too much you might get sued so do not do it when your house is on the market if you want to know what the value of your house is right now there's a link below you get a professional report for free or if you want some tips on some of the best things to do to get a, get your house sold fast and for top dollar, there's also another freebie, a little link below for that. Do me a favor and subscribe to my channel or at least give me a thumbs up, comment below. If there's any topic you want me to give information about, please comment below. And if you have some really great tips on getting odors out of your house, please put those tips below. I can always use a new one. So until next time, have a great one.